Hello, friends and lovers, and welcome to Raven's Watch. This is a very much so anticipated action roguelike that just came out by the same developers of Curse of the Gods. If you haven't seen that game, that's another amazing roguelike. This is very much so Hades meets Diablo. Uh, it, there are many different playable characters with different movesets. It is mostly cooldown based, as you can see at the bottom. But anyway, we just started one run. They're actually quite fast paced, and we get to choose an upgrade at the start of our uh, every single run. So we chose sort of a roguish character here. So we have stealth, we have stabs, we have a dash, we have a bomb. So we, now we get to choose something here. Your special note targets a further location deals plus 50% damage. A quest. We have to do this 25 times. Attack or power triggered during human defense earns crit chance plus 1% per enemy. Hmm. Attack or power. Triggered during human... Um, they're kind of losing me. I'm going to take the distant explosions. <laughs> so our special is this bomb. So na normally you just throw it on your own location, but now it goes further and it deals more damage. So time has not passed yet, and this is where you can buy some things when you uh, earn some money. And you can teleport back here. There is fast travel. If you look at the mini-map, that's going to be very important. Uh, so... As soon as we leave here, that's when the day-night suckle begins, and everything changes at night, essentially. You're, you're going to see. But the goal is to get as powerful as possible before you run out of time, in which case you are forced to fight the boss. So, you do got to play quickly, but it's it's not, like, crazy unforgiving or anything like that. I don't think it's, like, panic mode kind of situation, necessarily. So, let's hop in here. We're going to use our different cooldowns. We have a combo point system where we can build up... Uh, combo points by using our basic attack and then we, our finisher is that dashing strike move that you see there so the combo points are those little daggers that you can see below our health bar Woo. okay that was good I do want to use the stealth uh, I haven't decided if I should be using it with my dash strike or just like my regular attacks yet Man, this isn't good. So the mini map's gonna be very important to help you figure out where you should be going next, because you want to complete all the different like little objectives and things like that around. Killing enemies does earn you XP. Whoops, I threw that in a weird spot. Uh, so killing enemies is important, but you might as well be doing some kind of objective or something that helps you overall while you're at it. So this mini map location is simply gonna scout for us. Ah, keep. I keep <laughs> thinking the explosions drop where I am. Like the original. Okay. There's one. And the colors matter a lot on the mini-map as well. Ooh, we already got level two. Ooh, epic! So this is sort of a boon system. You only get two possibilities. They can rank from common to epic so far I've seen. Defense instantly fills all combo points. Last two more seconds. Okay, so combo points last two more seconds. Defense. Oh, our defense is our stealth, mostly. Instantly feel... Okay, I like that. Ooh, that's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. I think that should be good. All right, but it is nighttime, so we are now the werewolf, I guess. You know, lichen? Is that is that another term for werewolf, perhaps? Okay. So I mostly want to use our stealth into uh, some kind of combo-driven attack. So the werewolf has similar moves in some ways. So you got the leap instead of the bomb, and you have sort of a rushing dash attack instead of... Well, actually, I guess that is the same thing. The big one is our defensive move, so we actually get lifesteal armor and attack bonus when we uh, use this move right here. So we get a little bit of lifesteal, and that's going to be really important overall <laughs> to get health back. And we're going to change back to human once daytime hits. But there's like four or five nights uh, before you're forced to fight the boss, I believe. I don't know if you have to. I'm actually not really sure uh, what the what the dizzy is. Like, do I have to fight the boss at the end of the night? Or can we fight it early? I'm not sure yet. I did complete one run, but there was so much going on, you know. Like, I you know, couldn't quite figure everything out all at once. Okay, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay, you can only hit one one of those dudes, unfortunately. Oh boy, got surrounded a bit. Got one. Okay, 
You do have a minor dash that you can simply use whenever you want. It actually has like a couple second cooldown, maybe even longer than that. So it's not always going to save you. You got to think about what you're doing. You got to use your movesets along with that dash to make sure you stay out of harm's way, essentially. All right, what do we got here? Okay, choose one magical object. Power deals plus 20% damage. Hmm, reduce prices. Damage plus one for each vitality I have. On the bottom left, I think it's saying that I have 10 vitality. If you see the heart, I think that's what it's indicating. I think that's vitality. I mean, this one's rare, so I guess we do that. Our power, I've already forgotten. There's power and special. I think power is bite. The bite move. And this will carry over to human form as well. Okay. But I think the big thing that I haven't really, or one of the many big things, there's lots of big things with this game. Uh, the One of the major things I haven't mentioned is this game is up to four player co-op right now. Just came out early access. By the way, if I didn't already say it, uh, if you're watching this video in the first few hours, I'm probably streaming it right now live on Twitch Shot Television. Come on over, say hello, ask some cues, whatever you want. All right. I thought those were enemies. They were not. Okay, so we got some stuff done. It is daytime again. We're fine. Got a little hit there. Throw a busy at that guy. All right. So we could teleport back to... I guess you'd call it base, but we don't really have enough money to spend yet still anyway. We still only have $42. We need like at least 75 to buy just one thing. So let's go over to this little booklet on the minimap. Left trigger. Kill all enemies before the timer expires. You got it, baby. There is a difficulty system so far in the game. I am weakened now from standing in whatever I stood in. Okay. Trying to make sure I use that well. The power with the attack. Oh, no, that hurt. We do have some... I guess you call them... Death defiances, it seems. It's usually shared during co-op. Oh, was that it? Oh, we did it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Improve a random upgrade two times. Gain 300 experience. The level ups will let you... Uh, choose a new upgrade or gain money. I wonder about that. So I think it hit... One sec. It is now legendary and this one's now epic. Okay. Instantly fills all combo points last two and a half more seconds. Okay. Legendary, baby. Let's see. So the boss is at the center of the map. We probably don't want to fight them yet. <laughs> I'm going to say we don't want to fight them yet. Get some health back. Beautiful. So the color on the mini map does actually matter here. If right now we can see there's a green marker with a hand at the bottom. I think, I don't know. What does that look like? Kind of looks like a hand to me with picking up money, maybe. So green means it should be within our difficulty range, basically. But yeah, if you head to like something that has a red outline, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. I'm still picking up the pieces here. I've only played for like an hour, but my god, you can already tell like how amazing it's going to be. All right, Dunzo. I can't wait to get some co-op going on. Woo! I wish I had something that could reset the cooldown of my power here. Power? I think I'm still talking about the power. <laughs> oh, okay. I got scared. It looks like we're in pain, so I get scared a little bit when that happens. Okay. Get that leap going on. Very good. And we got some more max health here, actually. When you scout, you don't necessarily see everything on the map forever. You just see the kind of things around you. But I think you get some XP for just using the scouting tower, so 
it's still a good idea to just go and do it. All right, more friends. Oh, I really didn't think you'd hit me. All right, there's a lot here, huh? Ah, tried the dash. Got one. Very good. We got a nice level up there. Looking good. Feeling pretty good about this so far. I think we're doing a good job, right? Special applies ignite to enemy enemies. Has a 50% crit chance. Attack is 25 chance. Cleave all enemies around and deal plus 120% damage. I mean, that one just sounds good. Pyromania is rare though, you know? You gotta take the rarer thing. Isn't that the rule? really powering up that special or right, we got some more money now okay now we have a decent chunk of money huh we might want to take a teleport back then let's keep it going for now curious about that exclamation point all right all right good 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 kill dispatched those little swines Here's a teleport I guess we'll use real quick. I'm glad those enemies don't really mind us right there. <laughs> okay, time does still pass as far as I can tell. You can see the run timer down there. When you enter this menu, it might still pass too, just because it is built around multiplayer. So I can upgrade what we currently have, potentially. Special applies ignite to enemies. It has a 50... It goes to 60% crit chance. I don't think that's worth much honestly vitality plus five armor plus five they currently have zero armor damage plus five so 75 i can buy two of these critical attack steel plus 25 percent damage hmm so let's get the armor and the attack i'm kind of thinking level things out a little bit uh we don't really want to go to the boss still yet i don't think we're capable i'm gonna guess we're not capable Woo. So far, it's pretty lenient in terms of difficulty. Like you saw, we kind of had some mildly close uh, calls. But they also give you a bunch of death defiances, especially if you're going to be playing solo. I think you get to use all four of them. Uh, but they have a difficulty system already in place in the game. So if you're looking for more of a challenge, you could just uh, up the difficulty on it. All right. Hmm. Nothing else here. Whoa, buddy. We're getting further away from our little hub, so I wonder if that's what kind of determines if things are going to get more difficult. I'm not really sure. Hmm, can't go down that way. Do, 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 do. Friend? Wits and bring back stone to Alaric Swine. Hmm. Bring back stones. I guess I gotta look around for some rocks. Okay, that's what they look like. Gotcha, I got one. So I guess you'd want to pick up this quest early, and then that way... You could uh, just kind of try to gather the stuff as you go, right? Okay. Looking around for the rocks, but... Oh, that's not good. Okay, gotcha. Looks like... Oh, wait. I see rocks on the mini-map. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, a little dungeon? I've never got entered anything like this. More enemies, too. Wow, like a lot of enemies. Oh my god. Alright, calm down, everybody. Throw that over there. Okay, looks good. 
No, it looks bad. All right. My job is done. Woo. Pretty tough. Werewolf will help us regenerate some of that health back. Uh, try to hit two enemies at once. Beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Stay out of that swing. Oh, okay. Once again, it scared me going uh, full werewolf here. The werewolf form is definitely going to be more powerful for us right now. I think we just... The upgrades have kind of made it that way a little bit. Whew, there we go. How much rock we got going on here now? Plus six, so we're at ten. There's more, huh? Oh boy, oh boy. All right, calm down, everybody. No need to freak out. Okay, looking good. Okay, I don't like that you keep hitting me, though. Woo! Almost there. There we go. Lovely. Grab all the rocks. We're still only going to be about halfway through the quest. Okay, though. Looks like we can leave now. Hello. Stay out of that. Big chomp right there. Very nice. I see some more rocks going on here. There we go. I'm not looking forward to going back to human form, honestly. Oh, is this is this rock quest timed? And I only have like a minute left. I can't find all these rocks in that time. Those things are heavy. What do you mean? The stone house will be attacked shortly. The enemy is at our gates. Let us prepare to fight to the last and save our home. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? They really wanted me to do it that fast? I didn't think I was that slow. What if I help defend it? Maybe you don't have to get all of it? All right, I got one more and then I guess we head back. I don't know. Let's see what happens, huh? I'm coming, buddy. All right, I'm here. Here, have some rock. Uh, all right, it looks like that helped. Defend the stone house. All right. We'll give it our darndest. Come on, baby. I hope I don't go back to human anytime soon, still. Oh, no. Speak of the devil. Okay, that's fine. Let that house live. We do have an upgrade, but I don't think I can reasonably pick it in the middle of combat like this. They're coming for, for me. Oh, nope. They're going for the house. Never mind. Oh, someone's healing. Okay. How's that house doing, buddy? How long do we have to defend it? Because holy crap. Oh no, he can see him. That's not good. Oh, I hurt myself with that. Come on, bud. I'm trapped. What does that mean? Ah! Oh, we... No we lost a death defiance here, as I'll as I'll call it. 
Master Nightmare Awakens in one day. Oh boy, that hurt. Looks like the last enemy here. Did we... we that, that was a success? I did not feel like we did very well. <laughs> Looks like we leveled up quite a bit. I extend our gratitude. Oh, all right. Human uh, special no longer affects heroes and bomb explodes as soon as it hits the ground. And the special recharge is faster for both. Okay, sure. I actually had two level ups. Hunter's souvenir. Shoot with a shotgun. Oh, it's an ultimate. Oh, dealing damage to wide cone has two charges. Werewolf deal continuous damage to wide cone for three seconds. That's our right button ultimate. And, whoa, look at these. Dash heals for 50% of damage taken during last two seconds. Clear dash cooldown whenever you use blah, blah, blah. Deal plus 20 damage for each legendary upgrade you have. Yo! Because we already got two, right? No, we only have one. Okay, we might be able to upgrade that other one, though. Ooh, we need more money, though. All right, we don't have a lot of time before the boss now. Okay, we still should... I'd love to at least get one more legendary to see. Is it like plus 20 damage on everything? It doesn't look that way. Okay. I kind of want to read that again. Oh, I see. It's just whatever... That sword symbol got uh, 20 more points basically on it. So, I'm not certain exactly what that equates to. I'd love some more money if we could find it. Come here. Okay. We got a yellow quest right here. I guess we're going to try it. Defeat the enemies before the timer expires. I'm trapped. We're fine. Watch out. Use the power. Get some health. There you go. Nice big AoE. We love it. Just a bunch of little spiders left. All right. We did pretty good. That felt really quick. We we're face tanking everything. <laughs> Gain a bunch. Okay, so let's get the money. Oh, wait, no. Improve a random upgrade three times. Oh, so that's like kind of a guaranteed legendary? We actually got two legendaries out of that, so now we have plus 65 attack. Okay, that was definitely the right choice. Let's go, baby. Now we're cooking. That's some big damage right there. Maybe we can... I'd have to upgrade something twice now to get another legendary. So it's pretty much boss time. Wow, that move does so much damage. Holy crap, so does that one while we're at it. I don't know, like, do I have to go to the boss? I guess we'll try to find out what happens a little bit here. Uh, we'll do some experimentation. Will they just teleport me to the boss if the time runs out? Okay. Watch out. Kill all the little spiders. Very nice. I love that one hit. It says I'm maxed out for XP, so I guess we can't gain another level. They probably want to they probably want to have a max for when for a while there's only one more one chapter in the game. If that makes any sense. I don't know what this thing does, but I don't like it. Big old scarecrow or something. Did I miss with that? Oh god, that hurt. Okay, it's day again. What happens soon, I wonder. Dash deals plus 50 damage to crossed enemies. Plus one armor for each 5% missing health. Power deals plus 20% damage. 
All damage, all the time. Who needs defense? You know what I'm saying? It's hard to explore the whole map in the time given. I think I'm okay with that, though. Kind of puts a, a fire under your pants. Oh, I forgot about our ultimate. I totally forgot. I managed to use it once right there. Okay, so it should be, like, really good right here, right? Look pretty good to me. Oh, a key. Oh, whoops, I missed. It looks like it, things are getting, like, foggy. Does this mean I need to go to the boss? I'm really not sure. Did all the enemies go away? I haven't found a teleport in forever. Oh, no, it's turning, like, really red. Hold on, hold on, game. Oh, the, the cooldown on the ultimate is really long, huh? Sanctuary? Hold on, I just want to spend some money real quick. <laughs> Uh-oh. What happens here? Let's find out. Alright, so we do teleport to the boss. We didn't quite make it to spend our money, but we are quite powerful, I would guess. I have seen this boss before, so I think I know what happens. Unless it's going to be different this time. Doesn't look it yet. Kill the little tentacles, and then you can kill the empowered one in the center. Okay, it's going to do a big... Raid boss move there. Okay, one shot, one kill. Do, 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 do. This is the last one, right? Build that up. Use the big ultimate. Big chunky damage. All right, and we get to go into lichen form now. Let's try our werewolf breath. Oh, no, wait. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can just... go straight for the boss here, really. I doubt it. Try to just stay out of everything for now. Oh boy, taking a lot of D. Oh, it's down. Okay. Use this move as soon as we can. Big stomp the finish. Boom! Usually that boss takes several more cycles, but we got pretty powerful by the end, right? That is the current version of Raven's Watch. What do you all think? I mean, it's it's just one of the most promising games I've seen in so long. You know what I mean? Not to mention we haven't even looked at co-op yet, right? And all the other playable characters. Why don't I show you, at the very least, what's going on with those? Uh, da, da, da. This is just sort of the... How we did. We got a new rank, according to this. Oh, so we got some new upgrades and objects that are available now, too. Okay. I like that. So we played as Scarlet. Uh, there's also the Pied Piper, Beowulf, Aladdin, and the Snow Queen. So there's already, it looks like six playable characters, but I haven't unlocked them all yet. So there's so much to this game. They all have different movesets, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Let me know if you want to see more of the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the game as while you're at it. Like and subscribe if you haven't, because you're probably going to see a lot more of this game either way from me. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.